Hello, welcome to my channel. So what I want to do now is I want to be able to retrieve the list of users in this active directory. So if I should share my screen, there's something known as Microsoft Graph, the Graph API, which is what we are going to be using. So this is my application object. If you navigate from the left navigation, you click on API permissions. And you're going to see a list of APIs configured permissions. I already deleted the default permission that was here, which is the same as was this. So all you need to do is to click on add permission. Then we are working with Microsoft Graph. Then because we'll be using an external application, Postman will come to application permissions. Then I will go over to users because I want to return the list of users via an API call. And I'll click on user read all. I want to read all the users. And you can see it's already added. So afterwards, we need to grant admin consent. But because this user is not an admin, then um, I wouldn't be able to do this. But um, we need to click on grant admin consent after adding this. We need to grant admin consent. Then afterwards, let me share my postman. Come over to postman. Yeah. So this is the same endpoint URL. The only difference is that instead of storage.microsoft.com or vault.storage.azure.com or vault.azure.net, we change it to graph.microsoft.com because we're now dealing what we want to, the resource we want to have access to is the graph API. So when you click on send, you get the same token. You get your token. And you pick up this token, then you go over to your URL, and you add this. You add the same beer token. So you can move this or you can leave it. Then this is the URL that you send again. Cloud.microsoft.com forward slash version forward slash users. So it's the users I'm interested in. So let me even remove this to see. So it's the users I'm interested in. Um, then what you need to do after doing this is to send your request. So because I didn't, ordinarily this should work, but because I didn't, um, so we can see, some of the parameters but what i was interested in are the users the users which is what we have here but the reason why i wasn't seeing the i am not seeing the users is because um i didn't grant admin consent because that is essential when it comes to doing this so you are going to see insufficient Authorization requires insufficient privilege to complete because the admin consent, this account I'm using is not just admin consent, but I still wanted you to see the flow about how this is being done. Um, so the steps is accurate, it's just to grant admin consent from over here. Just to grant this admin consent is what is preventing it from working. With every other thing is correct. If you find this video informative, don't hesitate to like, share, subscribe, and recommend it as well. Have a nice day.